this video in 4K. So I've got my handy dandy uh, Mac laptop there, Apple laptop, ready to go. Brian over here, of course that's where we put out the data port. He's got a regular Senna, this is the Senna that comes with my headset. And you should with your headsets too, it's just he undid the weather port, he's just, it's just a little micro USB you can see he's working with, he's going to plug it in. And the other side is just a standard USB, he'll bring that back and that part will go into our laptop. Okay, so either PC or Mac, we're on a Mac. It'll be similar, but the first thing you need to do, I made an easy link for you guys. If you go to lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Harley software, it will take you directly to the Harley Davidson update page for their Senna products. Of course, it's the Boombox update page also. Go over to wireless technology, and you can go down there, our instructions here. Here's the whim, what we're dealing with. It gives you some information, but most of all, you want to download your device manager. You'll need to download it. I've already done it. I got the Mac device manager. You just download it. And then of course, it's a really quick little program that you install. Here's where your WIM download software. Also for your headset, if you bought the, the SPH10 or the 20S from Harley Hardy branded, here's the software so you can update your headset. You do it with the same desktop manager. Everything you need is right here. Again, I've already installed it. I'm going to go down to my launch pad here, my program. There it is, Boom Audio Device Manager. Bring it up. Now, you want to make sure your Harley is off. It's at, the, at this point. You do not want the USB hooked into your laptop. We have it hooked into the data port on the WIM, but we don't want to actually put the USB uh, into our laptop till it tells us. And so now we're in the Boom Audio Bluetooth Device Manager. Okay, so we're just going to hit next, follow the instructions, ready for device recognition, power off your product. Of course, the Harley's powered off. Follow the instructions, all right? The WIM right here, it says connect the WIM to your PC using the supplied USB cable. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my USB cable into the side of my laptop. All right, I've went ahead and plugged the USB into my laptop, hit next. And you can see it says device recognized successfully, ready for firmware update. So you can see firmware up to date, it wants me to browse for the latest update and what I've done is right from that same website. I've went ahead and downloaded the WIM software version 1.0.2 at the date of this video. I've downloaded it. It went into my downloads folder and it was a zip file. I just unzipped it. And so that's the actual image right there, it looks like, the WIM software version. So I'm gonna go back into my device manager because I know where it is. I'm gonna browse for it. Go into my downloads folder. And it looks like it's right there. I'm gonna double click on it and I'm going to update. Okay, and you can see I got a message down here, firmware updated successfully, so the WIM is up to date now. So now we've updated the WIM. You might have to do this routinely when you're updating the WIM guys as they come out with new software. 